Hey, what's up everyone? Galaxy's Edge, Hasbro Pulse, Star Wars Celebration, so many toys and new items, new props have come out of the Star Wars universe and Disney lately. So just wanted to go over a few new items. This one in particular from Galaxy's Edge. This, some of you have seen, is the mini electronic Sarlacc. This can be picked up at Doc Ondar's right now, only available at Disneyland, so Batu West. It is based off the baby Sarlacc that you see in Doc Ondar's in both Disneyland and Disney World. It's got a little description here. I'll go ahead and read that to you guys. It just talks about the Sarlacc, the diet, anything that stumbles upon it, home planet of Tatooine. It's an arthropod for a type. Information, it says here, the Sarlacc rests in the sand known as the Great Pit of Carcoon. Surely buried except for its massive mouth and seeked tongue, they are long-lived rare creatures that swallow their prey whole and alive. So, cool little item. It has the batteries down here you can change. There was a tab here that you can pull out to get this started, on and off switch. So we'll try to turn that on. And basically what it does is it makes sounds. You can store some neat little items inside, but not very many, maybe a couple pennies. It's kind of more for show than it is for, for storage. So you open the top here. Let me turn it on first. I thought I turned it on, I guess not. Not the other way. Okay, open the top here. There it goes. So here's some some cool little sarlacc sounds. Got tentacles moving there. You could probably, uh, like I said, it's not really storage device as it is more of a niche type device. But if you do happen to throw a few items, maybe a penny or something like that, it'll go through. Come back right here on the other side. There's your penny. I wouldn't wouldn't store anything or I wouldn't try to fit anything too large in there. But I'll tell you who wouldn't be happy about this prop. Boba Fett. Lego Boba Fett. <laughs> no. Nope. Didn't fit. So maybe Boba Fett would like this prop. <laughs> he survives. So yeah, just a cool little, just a cool little toy prop from Galaxy's Edge. These retail for $39.99. I'm not sure if these are in Disney World just yet, but I'm sure they will be at a later date. And that is it for the mini electronic Sarlacc. item we have is the star compass this is something that you kind of seen as a little easter egg in the last jedi uh one among luke's skywalker's items and for fans of battlefront 2 this is where the star compass made its big debut during the uh, luke skywalker campaign the brief luke skywalker campaign for those who played through the game and this was the compass that luke was searching for in one of uh, the emperor's uh, little hideouts uh, and Luke obtains his compass, and then you see a little glimpse of it in uh, The Last Jedi. And the description on the back describes it as an antiquated tool of navigation featuring a superluminite lodestone attuned to hyperspace vectors. A compass like this was recovered by Luke Skywalker inside one of, Emperor's, of the Emperor's observatories on the planet Pilio. So yeah, a lot of Star Wars jargon, but... Cool little item, so we're gonna do a little unboxing, kind of. This is also something that can be found right now only at uh, Galaxy's Edge, about two west, so Disneyland. Um, this is something that you'll probably see in Disney World eventually. All right, we'll go ahead and open that. Pull it out. Wow. 
Oh wow, this has got some. So this has got some heft to it. It's definitely a. This is definitely the shell is definitely metal. Probably a feels like some kind of die cast alloy, kind of like what you might see, uh, like micro machines or even the the lightsabers from uh, Savvy's workshop. Feels like the same type of metal, like a thick type of uh, alloy, die cast alloy. So it's it's definitely sturdy. You can tell it's made of metal. It's a cool looking prop. Uh, you open it with this little switch here. So you just go ahead and do that. Pull up, and there you go. Kind of cool. You got the little navigation going on there, kind of underneath this uh, like plastic protective plastic, but uh, cool little prop, little Easter egg from Last Jedi and Battlefront 2. So sturdy, it looks nice. Uh, you know what, it's not half bad. It's, it's very, very close to accurate to what I've seen in the film. Um, very nice prop. This retails for $29.99 in Galaxy's Edge Disneyland. So yeah. For those of you who are interested, go ahead and pick that up. And our last item is the Camtono. This is also found in Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland, uh, but it was also released May 31st at midnight at uh, shopdisney.com. I think right now it's sold out, but I'd pay attention to Shop Disney and sporadically it might come online. It's actually cheaper online at Shop Disney. It's $44.99 on Shop Disney. Uh, depending on if you're paying shipping or not, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Galaxy's Edge retails for $49.99. This is a cool little prop from those you remember that brief scene in Empire Strikes Back in Bespin in Cloud City, where Lando is ordering his people to evacuate, and you see someone running out with this. It's based off an ice cream maker, and it's just a just in Empire Strikes Back for a brief second, but you start seeing it more in The Mandalorian seasons one and two. Uh, a few times, this was the container that was holding the Beskar steel that uh, Din Djarin brought in. Some of you might recognize this more from Mandalorian than Empire Strikes Back. It's a cool little item, uh, so it's a safe, and it's kind of cool. We'll open it up and check it out and see what it does. So it feels sturdy. Um, you got a little code right here. I think you can set the code yourself, but for now I think the default, if I remember correctly, is just hitting, I think it's hitting the top button or any combination of buttons six times. So, two, three, one, two, three. And then you twist the top. No, nope, didn't work. Let me see if we try again. Oh, hit that button first. You know what? There's a tab under here. It helps to turn on first, right? Pull the tab. Let's flip the switch to on. That's cool. You can turn it on and off. And then let's see if this works now. So hit the button on top. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, you see the green light? And there it goes. Opens up. So you can put your little items in here, right? Find your little store compass. Close it up. And there you have it. So cool little item. Twist it to lock in place. 
and then the green light goes off and you're ready to you're ready to go. But if you hit a wrong combination, so let's say I hit just a bunch of buttons, light turns red, you can't open it. So I think I think to open this you have to hit top button six times. Yep, light turns green. There you go. So you have kind of like a foam material here on the side. So that's kind of nice, protecting whatever you store in here. Um, the rest of it's kind of a, kind of like a plasticky feel to it, but still overall pretty good deal for $44.99 on Shop Disney and $49.99 uh, Galaxy's Edge. Cool little prop for those that, like I said, remember Empire Strikes Back or for Mandalorian fans. Uh, especially from what I've seen from fan-made uh, props like this, you know, uh, going for thousands of dollars, to be honest. The 3D printing and the, the programming that it takes to get this to work as an actual safe, to be able to lock it and unlock it with a special sequence like this. This is a real bargain. This is probably about three-fourths scale to the original prop, the original ice cream maker prop. But still, I mean, this is great, you know. Uh, you can buy a couple of these and have your own Star Wars themed room or just a cool little Easter egg prop. Not bad. And again, like I said, you can change the, lock it up here, change the combo to whatever you want. It does come with a little instruction manual. So it tells you what you can do and how you can set the combination, uh, which is basically any six presses of whatever numbers you choose. And the batteries on the bottom, it tells you how to replace those. It takes three AAA. Um, and yeah, cool little prop. And that's just one of many things that were released, especially in the parks. They've come out with a lot of new cool little items in Doc Ondars. Right now in Disneyland, but I'm sure, you know, within a few months, they'll be in Disney World too. So just keep an eye out for those and uh, take it easy, guys.